Hey everyone, welcome to another one of Ghostbusters Ireland's Saturday videos. Um, I'm joined today by a um, fellow member of Ghostbusters Ireland, Alan Coates. Hey Alan. Hey Damien. And we're very honoured to be joined by Laura Summer, who um, has done everything from Digimon, Garfield, Hello Kitty, she's been involved in Beverly Hills Cop, everything uh, you can think of. Uh, but I suppose for us, best known as Janine in the Real Ghostbusters. So hey Laura. Hey, hi guys. Hi. <laughs> it's great. How are you? Excellent. Good. Very it's great good. to have you. Thanks for having me. Um, so I suppose look, we might as well start from the start. So was like how did you end up getting into voice acting? Is it something you always wanted to do growing up? No, or I didn't was even just... know what it was. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I started. I wanted to be an actress since I was little, mm -hmm. and um, I think I the way I started was I moved to New York City, but I'm from New York City, but I had moved away, and then I moved back, but I'm from, uh, not from where you needed to be at that time, and I heard that you could get into commercials was the easiest thing to get into. So I made that my mission to get into commercials, which I did. And uh, then from that, I started getting voice auditions. And then I started getting voiceovers, uh, voiceover commercials, radio spots. And then I auditioned for Ghostbusters and I got that. And that was my first animation audition. And was was it a long period? Um, you know, was was it a long period um, getting into the prof profession as such? So from the time you moved back to New York, you know. The, well, I was a yeah, still a teenager, or... so it wasn't like you know. Um, uh, it wasn't like I just the hey that girl and you're it. It wasn't quite like that, but. You know, it was, uh, I got into commercials. Once I figured it out, I sort of got into them pretty quickly. And um, so, and once I, uh, and when I say figured it out, I had to have, you know, what was, what sell, what would make me stand out, your look, yeah. you know, what was popular at the time. Um, and um, so, but once I hit, and it was sort of by accident I hit, you know, but once I hit, then I got in demand. So um, then I, then I, you would have directors who really liked you. And mm -hmm. so if they requested you, you really had a good shot of getting the job, yeah. you know, and I had a lot more confidence back then. <laughs> <laughs> And how and how did you come about to be Janine then? Was it just an, an open ad you saw or did somebody contact you saying there's this part coming up I think you'd be great for? Or how did you end up I, um, the role? Went to, um, I came out to Los Angeles and I called up an, old, an agent that I had worked with in New York. And he said, oh, go for this. They're, and they were, they, I guess they had seen a lot of people Mm -hmm. And I auditioned for it. And it was really a monologue of me answering the yeah. phone. Um, and then I was going to take a job waitressing. <laughs> and the day before, or I worked one day, I think I worked one day. And then I got a call. Oh, you got this cartoon show. It's 65 episodes. And I didn't really comprehend what that was and mm -hmm. I it was a it I had never done it before so I just yeah. went, oh, great I don't have to go back to that restaurant <laughs> <laughs> and uh so this week actually is the 35th anniversary I of know, I can't believe that yeah I don't I'm like, not I'm not embracing that because that does <laughs> that, like I didn't even talk about it for a really long time because of what happened so it was just sort of in there oh something I did you know yeah. but I, didn't, I didn't expect we'd be talking about it all these years later yeah. or you know there'd be so much interest um 
it's really remarkable and it's just nostalgia people love nostalgia right? yeah very much yeah I mean, and look like at look, at, so look at everything you have there like. i know yeah <laughs> So, so actually working on the show, did you, you know, do, do you have any souvenirs or did you, did you no, get to keep anything? Was, or? No, nothing from the show. I have, Ooh. I have things now that were yeah. things that are sent to me. Over, I have a yeah. lot of the patches from yeah. the Ghostbuster groups. Yeah. I have artwork that's sent to me, um, that's done for me digitally. I have some that's sent to me. Yeah. Um, but I do have a whole box of patches. And which, uh, if you want, at the end, I, I think I know where I can get them pretty easily. And um, so, no, there was none of that kind of like, oh, we need to get, you know, we yeah. didn't even keep her, like now people's, you know, auction off scripts or their yeah. gift scripts or, um, you know, because I did an interview where I was the qu asking the questions of someone on Bob's Burgers, and he he gifted me a, sc a signed script, but we didn't we didn't do anything like that. And I suppose with that, it's it's kind of I suppose you, you're not sure too because you could keep the script and the show could completely bomb after one season, and then it's not gonna, you know you kind of don't want to keep that. Well, but like, I suppose you know. You know yeah, I moved around a lot too then you know yeah. it was like it was like uh, I really didn't know I had done a lot of commercials where you saw what I did right away yeah like parents yeah. knew what I did for a living mm. they they didn't really yeah when they oh yeah oh it's a car but it wasn't quite the same thing I mean I I, I uh or doing a play where they, I mean it just didn't have the and, and they didn't have all the channels back then like they do now. Uh, but I I really didn't know what it was going to be. Yeah. yeah. And was there, was there any sense as, you know, as it started to air, essentially, that this is a hit? You know, when was was there a moment when you realized, my God, this is huge? Because it, it was for a lot of kids in the 80s. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I knew that I was on some uh, a Saturday morning. I mean, I don't mean to sound like I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, I knew I was on a Saturday, and I knew the show was doing well. And the uh, but I didn't, I didn't think about those things then. Like, oh, is it going to get picked up? Like now I do. Yeah. And, you know, like I'm doing a show for Disney Plus that I did. Uh, that I do from my closet and uh case of COVID, but I did it, let's see, in January. And so now it's, when did I do it? No, I did it last year in lockdown sometime. Okay, for scratch that. Uh, and, um, and now I'm doing it again. And we were like hoping for really good ratings because then it would get picked up because now I'm aware of it being an adult. I wasn't really, an adult. I mean, I was, but I wasn't. Yeah. So no, I had no idea, and um, I did. And when I got hired, I I didn't talk with a New York accent. That came later, you know, like the mm -hmm. first day. Yeah, I've talked about this before. They we I did what I did. They played me the audition, which was like, "Hello, Ghostbusters, please hold." And um, they played it for me. So that's kind of, that's what I did in the first step pilot, which I, I think I had a prominent role in that first uh, yeah. show. And uh, they said, could you do a New York accent? And I go, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and so I said like this, hello, Ghostbusters, you know, and they were like, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's sort of how, but I was already hired you know mm. so yeah um uh yeah but i guess i didn't really have a sense maybe um lorenzo music did or maurice lamarche they had been on yeah. shows before yeah you know? yeah and you mentioned there about doing uh recordings from inside in your closet so um but i suppose that's you know again in, in certain circumstances but do you find things have changed a lot or progressed from when you started doing voice acting back then to what's involved in it now has much changed or is it pretty much the kind of same well, standard I, there's many facets to voice acting so 
I got in animation. I didn't really stay in animation, you know, like I didn't, I went back to school for a while. I um, did, I, I was still doing on camera. So I was on some sitcoms, um, theater, uh, and, and the California market is definitely different than the New York market, you know, uh, in that started to change. And then I uh, sort of fell into what they call ADR, which is way more anonymous and you don't have to audition for it. So you just get hired. And I really like that. Um, <laughs> she was really comfortable with that. So it was like offer only. And um, uh, so as far as the acting itself, act good acting is good acting. I mean, those shows stand up. Good writing is good writing, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely. And I've watched some now, you know, because they've been airing here and they were airing um, on the channel. And, you know, people ask me and then I look it up, you know, and they would ask me about it because I really wasn't on social media until like lockdown, yeah. engaging with fans that much. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so they'll ask me about episodes and I go, oh, I am. <laughs> you see what you've been clear. missing. <laughs> or, or, you know, or somebody will, um, you know, uh, talk about when they did Ghostbusters or pass away and they'll have it as a credit and I'll go, oh, I must have worked with them and I'll look it up, you know, and then I completely remember. Mm. And, but the show really holds up, don't you think? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Big definitely. Time. Yeah, and they've, they've even started releasing episodes now every Saturday on YouTube. It's that popular that it's kind of oh, they were doing that here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, from from a production point of view, and and you touched on it. Uh, can you tell us, you know, how much work actually goes into the the process of of um, placing a character for an episode? Like, oh, voice actor. Um, you you do it. You're 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 completely isolated from the artists and yeah, and the music and ever. It's just was uh the main actors all in a room. Yeah, uh, we would all be together and so like a table read situation type thing. Yeah, but no table. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just a read. A microphone, headphones. Yeah uh stools you know and was there uh, any visual cues or storyboard even nothing was, okay no, it was completely from the um you just got the script there yeah i think you could leaf through it look at your part and mm -hmm. um um i have done a, other shows so sometimes i get uh, you know i like on the garfield show mark evanier the director yeah. would tell us what it was about he would say, yeah. this is what happens, this is what happened, and this is what happens. I don't remember that with Ghostbusters, so right, okay. there were a couple of times getting scripts. I think a couple of times I got them in advance, but mostly not. And I would really just look, oh, how at my part, so at least I, so I didn't flub a line. And then you just go, it's sort of like a radio play. Yeah. I mean, that's how yeah. I thought of it. I had never done a radio play, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I had done theater, and that is what I thought it was like. So, oh, 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 si Simer, what do you, you know, whatever, and then something's going on, but, and it might say in the script, but I don't really know. I, I think it would say something, and sometimes they would have, an address or a street and i'd say guys i don't think there is a 15th avenue in manhattan maybe you should i didn't tell them to change it i would just <laughs> say because the writers would usually be there and i'd say i i think maybe and there isn't a z train i knew that <laughs> <laughs> you know because it wasn't yeah. now you have to be because some fan will call you out yeah right? yeah look it up or, yeah yeah, cool. And do you, is there any, did you ever have like a particular favorite line of Janine's that ever stuck in your head or is it just a jumble of lines at this point? Well, you know, people quote things back to me now 
And yeah. if you did, I could give you my opinion. Like there is <laughs> one, somebody sent me up some show, like I didn't. And then I went, oh, that is a great line. And it was like when they go off to California and it's a very <laughs> run on, hey guys, so you're leaving me, blah, 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 blah. But I, you know, I have to have it in front of me. It's been yeah. <laughs> And um yeah, being so connected to Ghostbusters, um, do you have, are you looking forward to the new movie or, you know, is it something that you... I definitely that see it. Yeah. I definitely see it. And I, I'm, I can't, I really think they'll be bringing, I mean, I don't have any information or anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then nobody's called me, but I mean, why would they not bring real Ghostbusters back? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think because they've done Netflix have obviously done um, Masters of the Universe um, mm -hmm. and they've done a couple of different variations of it. So Kevin Smith has has obviously directed a, a, a series of Masters of the Universe. So I think Real Ghostbusters is long overdue. Yeah, and Turtles <laughs> are back on the whole. I've had oh, yeah. a few reiterations. I... So. Exactly. I know. And Rob Paulson is back doing it different part. Mm. He told me. But um, and I say that because I interviewed him. I had this stint doing uh, interviews one day and <laughs> they asked me to be <laughs> Miss Tune and I was Miss Tune and I interviewed him. And so he told me, you know, well, now I'm doing, you know, a different part, but he's thrilled. And and so there's been I know. Um, uh, there's there's a lot of reboots going on, right? There's a yeah. Lot of, I don't want. I don't know what's out in the world and what I'm. Just <laughs> <trying>. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely not. So, um, yeah. So I suppose, look, I suppose just to kind of wrap up, where can people find you, follow you, get information about you if anybody's looking for what you're doing next? Oh, uh, love that Laura is my handle. So like on Twitter, like with L-O-V-E and then T-H-A-T and then L-A-U-R-A. -A. Uh, so love that Laura on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, I think at Facebook. Um, we'll put all the links in the descriptions. <laughs> yeah. And the comments below. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I decided to be consistent. Yeah, <laughs> you, you hopefully you know you potentially be overwhelmed with um, well there's other laura summer new followers but, yeah, yeah. There was laura like like in the beginning you never used your real everybody had stupid yeah presents, right? <laughs> yeah and then then there's a switch and then there are other ones there's some artists or a nurse and anyway i couldn't <laughs> use my name so then um, I did have a theme song, Love That Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, look, that's all we have time for today, Laura. So look, thanks okay. so much for joining us. It was an absolute it's pleasure meeting you. An absolute pleasure. It was really fun, we're, we're... you guys. And bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye, Laura. Bye, Thank you, you very much. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>